Hello and welcome back to Crack the Cryptic. Now, if you don't normally like my voice, it's going to be worse than ever today because uh, I'm not feeling all that great. But we've been asked to have a look at um, this puzzle, which was sent in by Ng Yung. Um, I'm not sure where he or she got this from. Um, he just sent it in as it is. And Simon says he doesn't think it suits his methods much. So I'm going to have a look at it and see how we get on. Um, let's start over here in this box. We've already got five given, seven, three, eight, two, and five. The six, that cell, that six, and that six, make it clear that the six has to be here. Um, the only place for a four, given that four and that four is here, and this nine resolves, which is left of the one and the nine. So that's one box filled. Let's try over here, nine, four, three, two, six. One five can't be in the final column, so they must be here. And seven eight are also disambiguated by an eight over here. Um, well, that's a nice easy start at the bottom. Now let's just put in the possibilities in Snyder notation along here. Eight six seven. Six four eight three five seven two one nine one nine two nine one two nine. Okay, so now looking up instead, not much to be gained there. Two nine four six eight is either here or here. Nine R oh, six and four. very helpful. 8751 up here, 3 must be either there or there. 61537, 9437, 15. Yeah, those are how they work. Um, right, that wasn't all that helpful, but maybe I'm missing something here. 4698. Okay, five up here has to be either in that cell or that cell from this five and this five. Um, ah, seven in this box up here. There's only one cell for that. Um, and that's normally quite a powerful constraint shape. So threes are there. Three would be there or there. Seven. Four must be in row three for this box, which puts it either there or there. Nine, there is similar to that seven, there's only one space for nine there. No, that didn't help anymore. Um, nothing in the middle has got any more helpful yet. This cell here has got 76294 in its column and 538 in its row. So even though it's in a box with no other large numbers, we know that's a 1. And that's helpful here. That places the 1 there and the 5 below it. 5 up here must be either there or there. And that one five, if we look at three eight, three we know there, eight must be either here or here. Seven has to be in this box, in this column as well. Seven, two, three. In fact, nine and seven have to be down this column somewhere. This cell has to be two or three, but we don't know which yet. Three, sevens up here. And also nines. Oh, that's quite interesting up there. Okay, so in this box at the top, fours. Remember, we've got four placed here or 
here, sevens and nines must all be in these three cells, so that's a triple. So then we can place the two and the five around them. And that allows us to finish off this box with one, two, three. That was a very useful one, two, and one here. Um, two, three, one, nine, five, seven. We can't quite finish off this box, annoyingly, but we do know a bit about one and five. They go in that row. And two and three go in the top row. Um, ah, this column here, column seven, two numbers left to go. The eight obviously can't be next to another eight. So that allows us to finish off the top right box as well. Um, now we've got various possibilities here. Um, in the right and left Cells four eight two one five six three at the top five eight ah oh, five and eight have been resolved here in fact and that's usefully resolving eight there four six two why yeah that's going to be six and that's interesting finally we get something in the central box six must be there or there this has to be seven or nine it's not entirely obvious which one it has to be so i think we now need to look at something going on in these two boxes at the top and bottom here and then we can put six up in one of these three cells um, four seven nine and then eight either here or here um, we've got four, five, three. Yeah, okay. I think that's as much as we can do in Snyder notation now. It's a very full grid in those terms. So now I'm going to have a look at an interesting logic chain. If this cell here, which has to be a five or an eight, let's say that was a five. Now that means this is a one and this is an eight here next to it. Um, and it also means that this 4, 3, 5 pair are sorted out. They have to become 3, 4, 5 because of this being a 5. Now, if they're 3, 4, 5, um, and remember this is an 8. So now 8 is here in this row, and 6 must be in column 4 or 6, just as it must be here. So that will put a 6 up here. And that means that this is a 3, and we've just worked out that this is a 3 as well, under the same logic, and that's not possible. So it's a bit of an odd one to keep in your head. I mean, I would normally do that by bifurcation, by using a pencil or something and trying the 5 here, and then finding out that it failed in that way. But you could just about manage it in your head. Let's go through it again. This is a five, that makes this one and this eight. That makes this eight, it means six isn't in the middle down here and it's not in the middle there, so six is in the middle up there. That makes this cell a three, but the five here also makes that a four and makes that a three. So two threes in column four, impossible. So this is not a five here, it's an eight. And that, I think, should allow us to finish off. I would be very surprised if it didn't. So, on we go with the Motley. Um, eight is there. Well, we haven't finished yet, actually. Maybe that's the one now. Two, nine, ah. Oh, okay, it is looking a bit better. So that's resolved the seven, nine pair up there. Three, two, six is all done as well. And that finishes off our top and bottom box. And now we know whether it's a nine or a seven there. We can place the six there and the seven there. And I think we're just finishing off at this point. Hurrah. So, yeah, nine, three. So a bit of a complex logic chain there. But if you can hold that in your head like a, a chess master looking several moves ahead, well, brilliant. You know, that's the way to do this. As I say, I think it tends to be a bit quicker to kind of fill it in and be prepared to rub it out if it's wrong, as, as it was with the five there. 
Um, and that's one way of solving this rather hard Sudoku puzzle. Thanks very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed that. Great to see you. Do feel free to subscribe or sponsor us on Patreon. Thanks very much. Bye for now.